Tractivet here today to do a quick demonstration on the chemoclave system. Uh, the chemoclave system was developed by Dr. Lopez of ICU Medical after seeing how cumbersome the facile system is to use and how many steps it takes to, to activate. It also uses an intuitive lure lock design to minimize the learning curve inherent in our competitive products. Basically there are three ways to deliver chemotherapeutics. One is IV push via a winged infusion set. Also we can do direct IV push via IV catheter and a uh, T-port set. Or we we're, going to do, we're going to do a constant rate infusion via admin set. Chemoclave utilizes three different vial adapters. The first vial adapter is a non-vented single-use vial for your smaller vials like vincristine and simply just place this on there and just push it down and it'll lock on. The next vial adapter is a vented universal vial adapter. It fits any size vial. It is vented to place this. You're just going to spread the wings and place it straight down onto the vial. The next vial adapter um, it, is, it has a spike on the end and a balloon which I'm going to show you here in a second. To place this into the vial you want to make sure you go straight down onto the vial and just push hard. I'm going to go right into it and lock on. The foundation of chemoclave is the clave technology. The microclave, a smaller streamlined version of the clave, is the most widely used needle-free connector in animal health. The reason for this is the dedicated internal fluid pathway which prevents microbes from being transferred into the fluid pathway. As you see here, the syringe or IV set pushes down the corrugated silicone and the internal piercing element enters the lumen of the device that is accessing it. This prevents microbes that are on the exterior surface of the microclave and the device accessing it doesn't come in contact with the fluid pathway. This is unique to clave technology. The clave can be added to any extension set directly to the catheter or the end of a winged set. The Genie is a vial adapter but that protects the clinician from exposure by neutralizing the pressures inside the vial utilizing a balloon inside the vial. Traditional methods using a needle can cause pressure differentials inside the vial which can cause a release of aerosols that are harmful to the clinician and environment. The Spiros is a closed system compliant with USP 797, OSHA, and NIOSH. The Spiros attaches to the syringe or end of an IV line to keep the clinician from being exposed to hazardous drugs. The Spiros remains closed until lured to any female lure such as a needle or a needle-free device like the microclave. The Spiros is available in two different versions. The spinning Spiros, which once it locks on, is a cracking pressure and you can spin this either way and not worry about accidental disconnect. And then just a standard Spiros which just locks on and it does not have the spinning feature. Okay, as you can see with the Spiros, when I disconnect, I want to do a slow disconnect. There's a poppet on the inside that creates a small amount of negative pressure to clear these mating surfaces. So I want to do a slow deliberate disconnect. As you can see with the Spiros, I can knock the syringe, it's, knock, it's closed, it's not going to uh, spill or aerosolize. The first example I'm going to demonstrate is IV push through a winged infusion set. Often this is done with uh, a vincristine dose. I'm going to start with a 1cc syringe and a Spiros. I put the Spiros onto the 1cc syringe drop my dose, disconnect, this is closed, and this is closed. My next step is to pull up a flush syringe so I can prime my wing set. The clay technology is on a bag access device. Again, this is needle free. If you're using lure slip, I recommend when you go into the microclave that you do a quarter turn. That gives you a good secure connection. I'm going to draw up my flush and just look on lure. Flush out, flush. I'm, a, I'm going to prime my wing set and I'm going to add a microclave 
to the wing set, which is going to keep it closed. Once my wing set is primed, I'm going to take my dose of vincristine, which for this demonstration, this is saline, with the closed system attached. I'm going to lure it to my microclave. Give my drug. And then when I disconnect, I can now access this with the saline flush and it does not have to have a safety device on it. Unlike every other of our competitive products, it does not have to have the safety device. I just lure a slip on and I can flush the wing set. Okay, next I'm going to simulate just an IV push into an IV catheter. Um, first you'll need the microclave T-port or just a microclave attached to the IV catheter. You'll need your drug with a vial adapter and a syringe with a Spiros attached. Now I'm going to simulate, um, if I was to have to dilute this drug, um, this is the device we're going to use. It's uh, two microclaves back to back and I'm able to uh, hook a, a saline flush to dilute my drug and I'll simulate that. First I'm going to start by attaching my Spiros to the syringe that I'm going to access my vial with. I'm going to lure lock onto the vial. I'm going to draw up my medications. Now, if I was to overdraw, if I only wanted 5 mils and I draw up 10 mils, I would have to invert this, this vial adapter. This is the only vial adapter that has to be inverted because of the filter. I would invert and put my 5 cc's back into the, into the vial. This is to keep everything equalized pressure inside. So now that I have my 5 cc's, I'm going to disconnect. Both surfaces are closed. I'm going to attach this to my microclave and this flush syringe. I will attach to the other side of the microclave and now I can dilute that drug. Disconnect. Now I'm ready to give my drug IV push and at that point I'm just going to attach it to the patient's side of the T-board and I can administer. For constant rate infusion administration I'm going to need a syringe with a Spiros, my drug with a vial adapter. I'm going to need an extra Spiros to add to the end of my IV line after it has been primed and before I put my drug in. And then I'll need on the patient's side a T-port with a microclave or just a microclave on the IV catheter. So to start this process I'm going to prime my IV set. I've spiked the bag and I'm just going to open the line up and let it prime the line with saline. Once the line is primed I'm going to take a cap off and add the Spiros and lure lock it on so that there's no accidental disconnects. Next step, I'm going to take my syringe, add a Spiros to my syringe and lure lock onto my vial adapter. The Genie will neutralize the vial with the balloon on the inside. I'm going to disconnect. Again, both surfaces are closed and dry. I'm going to go to my bag. If you'll notice, this admin set has an additional port on the drip chamber. I'm going to lure lock onto that medication additive port and I'm going to add my drug. And if you'll notice, it goes straight, the fluid pathway goes straight into the bag. At that point, I'm going to disconnect and that system just this IV bag is ready to deliver to the patient. Um, you'll, as you'll see, uh, I can open this roller clamp and the system remains closed until it is accessed a female lure such as a microclave.